guys welcome back it's me jenny how is everyone doing today okay my love so today um topic is going to be punches we're going to talk about my my top five most used punches and i have them right in front of me um these are like my go-to like i can live without these punches i mean i like literally these are my go-to i will not reach for anything else other than these punches i do have a really nice selection of punches i have to admit but to be honest with you these are the ones that i use the most so let's talk about them um i have here some butterflies some circles and a tag obviously i had to pick um only five so these are the ones that i picked i had a really hard time picking only five but but ultimately um these were the ones that i chose now i do want to talk about some of the punches that we're not going to um include in my top five but i still really love and i think i need to like mention to you guys i just recently purchased this one at michael's i am so in love with this punch i absolutely love it it is such a beautiful beautiful punch um i am like crazy about that punch um clearly is probably one of my favorites um obviously it didn't make it to my top five but it definitely definitely is one of my favorite punches i just i love it i love it um and let me show you really quickly what you will get if you um purchase this punch it is just so beautiful the star shape on this punch is absolutely <coughs> excuse me adorable and i love it i just love it so you're gonna get something like this <clears throat> Roughly give or take about two inch size in stop in, in the star is, is about two inch give or take But it just punches beautiful It is absolutely perfect for any type of embellishment. I love it um, Definitely one of my favorites not my top my top five, but it is a favorite Another one that's my favorite which is not on my top five But I do love and use a lot is this one which is another one that i recently got at michael's this is a three um and a half inch punch and it's a circle and it's gigantic it's huge but it's perfect to make embellishments also love love this punch another punch that i also love that did not make it in my top five <clears throat> is my martha stewart punch i love this heart shape Martha Stewart punch is absolutely one of my favorites it's been my favorite for many 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 years um I still love it I still definitely reach for it and it's just such a beautiful punch um the heart is just a really pretty simple but I just love the size of the heart to me it's just a perfect size for any type of embellishments to be honest with you um, you can get away with using the um, this punch for any type of embellishment <clears throat> But you can see here That the heart is just really a really Beautiful size to work with so I also love This punch as well Okay, so let's talk about the punches that I picked in my top five Give me one second guys let me just get something to drink because i feel like i'm going to be having a cough attack and there is no way i'm going to redo this video no way okay so <clears throat> Let's talk about, and by the way, this is not beer, okay? This is Malta. <laughs> so, just so that you guys know. Um, okay, let's talk about the punches that I love. My go-to, 100%, 99% of the time, I'm going for my circle punch. This is one of my punches that is my favorite. I cannot live without this punch. Literally, if I had to choose from 
all my punches that I have in my craft room, this is the one that I cannot live without. I love my circle punch. It is my favorite, by far, my most used punch in the world. Now, I love the circle that um, creates, that this punch creates. It's a very, very beautiful circle. Simple, but beautiful. Amazing size. Um, the size on this circle, I believe, is two inch. Let me just... No, it's not, it's barely, barely two inch, barely two inch. So I just love this circle punch. I am obsessed over it and I use it on all my embellishments, okay? So by far, my first go-to is this one. My second go-to would be um, another circle punch, but this is a smaller version. Now, I love going to this one because I love layering a lot my embellishments. So by me using these two together, it is like a perfect combination. I will use this one as a bigger circle, and then I will use this one to layer my circles. I love it. I think it's a perfect combination. As you can see here, this is the bigger circle, and then this will be what would this punch out. And usually what I do is, I basically just layer it, just like that. I just layer them on top of each other, and they just give each other such a beautiful um, look. It's just really like a perfect, perfect match. Um, I usually use dimensions to kind of give my, my embellishment a nice lift, but ultimately that's what I usually use do the majority of the time is use these two punches okay very good okay my next go-to punch would have to be my tag punch this is another one of those punches that I go to the most um, 98% of the time if I'm creating a tag I love to use this punch a lot of the times I also create my tags myself, but when I'm like in that lazy mode and I just don't have time to be fuzzy cutting tags, this is what I go to. I love using this tag and I love using the punch. Um, the tag size is absolutely perfect for any type of embellishment, any type of gift. It's just perfect. Um, I created these earlier with... Um, the paper the woodland paper pad from joann's and i just created four tags and i just thought it was beautiful i loved it i love that this is going to be a fall inspired tag that we're going to work together on next video okay but it's just a very nice tag to have um i'm gonna punch out for you um so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here you go. See that? Look how beautiful that looks. It's perfect. It's perfect size. Perfect, perfect size. I love this punch. Okay, so that's perfect. That's that. Okay, so the other two punches that is left over is butterfly punch. I am obsessed with these butterfly punch. I love my Martha Stewart butterfly punch. I love this one as well. I actually got this very recently, but I have been going crazy punching butterflies using this one. Definitely one of my favorites by far. Um, I love the size of the butterfly. It's actually pretty pretty big um i love it i think it looks perfect on a on a nice embellishment i just i love it i do love the size of this butterfly um i'm going to show you in a minute Using this punch, you can see how beautiful these butterflies are. It's just gorgeous. 
I am obsessed with this sponge. You see how beautiful these butterflies turned out? They're so absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Definitely my favorite by far. Um, I also like to use a smaller version of a butterfly because I love layering my butterflies. So what I do normally is I would also punch out some butterflies using this one and that would also give me some dimension on my butterfly. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so what I normally do is I would punch out my bigger butterfly and then I would go in and layer it with my smaller butterfly and I would add it right in the center and it would just create a really beautiful embellishment. See that? So these are like my go-to. I love them. They're just so easy to work with. You can definitely create so many really awesome projects using these um, punches. And it takes you literally no time, which is what I really like, the, you know, the best part about using punches is that it saves you a lot of time, it saves you a lot of, like, fuzzy cutting, and um, it's a very easy to just use. You know, I mean, it's, obviously it's a punch, it's very easy to use. So, my loves, these are my most go-to punches um, I hope that this is going to be a very helpful video for some of you who kind of always had in the back of their mind what are my favorite punches. I know that I have been asked that question in the past. So now you guys know that I definitely love these punches the most. Um, I hope that this is a helpful video for you guys I hope that you get some really good ideas and some really good information and I am going to be coming back next Wednesday with another top five favorites okay my loves thank you so much for stopping by I will see you guys on my next video I love you all have a fantastic weekend and please be safe out there bye honey bunnies <laughs>